everyone, it's Caroline here from Aussie Cards and Crafts and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Today what I'd like to do is uh, share with you the uh, pop-out poinsettia card. Now this particular card I actually saw originally um, on Mixed Up Craft with Sam Calcop and she had done it with some other flowers. I want to make it a Christmas one so I'm actually doing it with, um, with poinsettias. Um, I started this last night and I'm going to be totally honest I really messed it up last night so some of the card is already done but I've kept that because I, I do like those papers and uh, don't worry about this that will be covered but um, you don't really need to, to know you need to know the sizes but you don't really need to see me sticking on um, mats and, uh, and layers and such like for for this particular card so I've kept that I have done all of my um, my poinsettias I am going to show you how to make those um, and the reason that it failed last night was because I have attached these to acetate and unfortunately the acetate that I was using is very very flimsy so when I put the flowers on I thought they were strong enough but they they actually weren't and they were falling down like this so I thought no I'm gonna leave it for tonight and I'm going to give it um you know give give them give it a bit of a rest and then come back to, uh, this morning and do it so all of my flowers are done I did all of those whilst I was watching um, a movie on television last night and uh, I'll show you how to make those in a moment um, what I'll do before I do those though I will go through what you are going to need now firstly what you will need is these beautiful poinsettia uh, dies. So these are available on my website which is aussiecardsandcrafts.com.au I think I have about six of them left at the moment. I did bring them a dozen or so but um, I think I've got about six of them left at the moment. So if you want one please head over on to www.aussiecardsandcrafts.com.au um, and we can get some to you. The leaves that I have used have been a variety of leaves that have been cut out of these and as you can see there they're actually dyes that I have collected from all over the place so I've got no idea exactly where they're from so I can't give any links or um, advise you on those ones. Um, so before I go on to the poinsettia, I'd like to go through the sizes of the cards and uh, and papers that you are going to need. Now, the the piece that I used um, this particular uh, pattern piece is was from a uh, two thousand and seventeen um, paper pad that I actually bought to do my uh, Christmas crackers with one year. So it is fairly old, and I've used some scraps. Um, and I have one piece left so I've used that and that's why I didn't want to scrap the whole thing and start again. So for your card base what you are going to need is you're going to need a piece at of 12 inches by 6 inches and these will all be put on underneath the, um, the tutorial and at um, along the 12 inch side you are going to need to score at 3 inches, 6 inches and 9 inches. Additional to that, you're going to need eight of these uh, layer pieces. Okay, now this is actually going to have flowers in there and it is going to fold over. It will st sit out a little bit because there's going to be some dimension in there, but we are going to do that with a belly band. So um, the pieces that you need, you will need eight of them and they are going to be um, two and three quarters by five and three quarters so two and three quarters there five and three quarters there and you will need eight now as you can see with the piece of paper that I've used you can see the continuity in what I'm doing not that that really matters because most of this part is going to all be covered with the flowers over here um, we've got these and as I as I said these that is is going to be your your front um, Additional to that, there is, and I'm sure I've got it here somewhere, because I know I cut it out. Um, I have actually done, can't seem to find it at the moment, but I I have actually cut a piece that is um, two and a half inches by five and a half inches, and I'm going to stamp a sentiment on there, um, so that when the card is actually 
closed you've got your sentiment on one side it can go either side and you can write your message on there so that is your your um, your base on top of that what you will also need is you will also need a piece of card that is uh, six and seven eighths long okay now what we need to do is you then need to score that at half an inch where's my scorer there it is at half an inch turn it around the other way put it back up against there again and score at half an inch the other side so you've got two two pieces now what I did is I it's nearly seven inches so from where that cutting line is to that seven inch mark I kind of put it in the middle I'll turn it the other way so I can do it um, I kind of put it in the middle and I scored at three and a half inches fold that over and that is going to be and these two pieces on the end will fold in like so and that is going to be the front part of your card okay so that will actually go in there now additional to that I have also done a piece that is um, five and five eighths of an inch by one and a quarter inches and that is going to be stuck just there okay so I'm not going to have a um, I want it to follow around there I don't didn't want to have two pieces on the front here so there's that piece and that piece you will also need three pieces now these are half an inch wide and this first one is five inches and you need to score at half an inch and four and a half inches your second one is going to be four inches and you're going to score at half an inch and three and a half inches and your third one is going to be three inches and that's you're going to score that one at half an inch and two and a half inches so there will there are what we're going to attach the flowers to um, additional we will need to have a belly band so um, the belly band is just a piece uh, one and a half inches in in width and 12 inches long okay now if I need to I will put a piece of white card there because these flowers are actually going to sit over there so you're not going to actually see um, the if, if I have to increase it a little bit in length so um, we'll come to that when we get to that stage okay so before I do anything else what I would like to do is show you how to make these flowers um, they're very easy to do I'll just bring my piece of uh, scrap paper in as you can see it's been well and truly used um, and I'm not going to do that size I'm going to do this whoopsies that size you can see they come down so this is a three level flower that's a four level flower this one here is a two level flower so I'm going to do a three level flower for you today which is that one that one and that one put on top of each other so I'm going to pop these down here and what we need to do is we need some blending inks now I haven't washed these from last night so they've still got the color on them so the first color I'm going to put on is going to be the red and you just basically in the first instance make sure that your flower is covered in the red and it is up to you about the depth um, that you want to go so I'll do all three of these now I don't like just to have one color so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to use a little bit of orange just to put just a little bit of interest in there and you'll see that I, I take the majority of it off I only want a little bit of the orange I don't want it to I don't want them to be orange flowers so just on the edges and just on the tips and that's all that one needs so they're gone and I also like to see a little bit of green on my poinsettias so I'm just going to and once again make sure you take some off first just pop it this way and I'll just go over the tips basically Oopsies. and 
and this is how you make the flowers it's so easy and the beauty of this is you never ever get one the same so they will never ever be the same There's, there will not be no conformity in them what we do now is we now need to give them some shape so i bring in my mat here i turn them up the other way i use a ball tool here so that's got a bit of glue on it i think i can feel that so i'll take that off and then you just just gently break the fibers in the paper and you can see that it starts to give it some dimension okay so that one is curled already and you just go ahead and you do all of the um the petals on the flowers okay once you've done all the petals turn it over and push it down okay so that's going to make it stand up like a flower so you go ahead and you do all of those which is this one here which is a two-in-one pen um, and brush I don't often use the pen occasionally I do but I don't often I really like it for the brush and on the big one you just put a little bit of glue in the center and you stagger the leaves <clears throat> excuse me so stagger the leaves so that they are not right on top of each other like so and then you do the same with the final one just here or the top one and once again stagger your leaves so they're not right on top of each other and there you have your poinsettia and that is as easy as they are to top to finish that off what i do is i tend to use a um just a little rhinestone and pop that in the center just gives it a little bit of bling and there we have our flower okay so once you've had all once you've done all your flowers I'll just pop this away um, what you then need to do is you then need to cut strips of acetate um, and you attach the acetate to the back of the flower and in this case as you can see I've attached greenery as well so that when I put them in I haven't got to have too much acetate sitting there so on all of these pieces you'll see that I've attached greenery to the back of them so as they um, come into a, a decoration you will see that there will be like a, a very big vase of flowers with greenery poking through okay um, but I'll, I'll get to that part later so that's that um, okay so let's get rid of all of these <coughs> Now, what we need to do um, is, if you haven't done already, just make sure you pop you 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 actually put your layers onto these. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've had the two outside ones. These are going to join together, and you can see that the, the pattern paper actually follows that. Entirely up to you um, how you want to do it. What we now need to do is we now need to work on our mechanism. Um, and before I do that I'm actually going to stick this piece down as well so you've got your two end tabs there um, what we need to do is we need to stick that so that it's got a lovely border um, all around it and I'm just going to use my general purpose glue here just make sure that that and then when that is dry excess glue there I'll get that off when it's dry um, we then fold that in there and that will give us our front these two end bits here will then fold in like so and once we've got the inside mechanism they will be put just there and there and the reason that this is just a little bit shy of the six inch and we've done this one five and seven eighths is so that as you fold this over you can see that it doesn't because it doesn't go right up to that um, fold line it doesn't impede that that folding mechanism okay 
So now what we need to do is we now need to work on our other mechanisms. And these are the strips of uh, card that I asked you to put a half inch at the end of each, um, each level. So we fold those over. And then what we do is we need to use our boning tool and we need to break it just by curling it in between. So you're going to have one like that. So you've got then got your, your two just there and you are going to then use your boning tool and just break that. Oopsies. So once again, you've then got another one and the third one we will do the same with. So from that score line right through to that second score line at the other end, you are just breaking the, um, the memory in that card. What we do then is we then, um, and I'm going to actually use some double-sided tape on this. So I'm going to put two pieces of double-sided tape because it's only thin um on each of these so just while i'm doing that i'll speed the camera up for you okay It'd be much easier if i'd have had uh, half inch tape there but uh, i haven't so starting with your smallest one um you just peel off your your red tape um, and I'll show you how to pop this down because this is where all your flowers are going to be mounting from. Don't you just hate it when the backing sticks to you? Whoopsies. We'll go from that end. There we go. So now what we need to do is we need to try and get this as central as we possibly can. So the centre of this is, needs to actually line up with the centre of this piece here. Okay, so um, that's going to go that way. So we need to pop this. And I'm going to put it just slightly up, not in the halfway. So I'm going to pop it just there. Okay, the next one you get... It's going to be a little bit easier because you've already got your first one as a guide. So because there's one inch in each uh, increment, it's gone up like three inches, four inches and five inches. You can just lay this one over the top and those, those fold lines there should line up pretty much with, whoopsies, I'll put that down too fast, with the end of there. So put that flat and you do the same with the last piece. So take the top off and then put it over the top of the other one. And then when that comes out, you can see you've got that kind of a mechanism there. So that is going to sit, we're going to attach that to there and there. And when the card comes up, you can see, and then it will lay down flat again. Okay, so let's attach that now. Now I'm going to just do a little bit of a repair job here first. We'll pop those down. And now what we need to do is we need to put some double-sided tape down each of these. And there we go. So we take one end off at a time. Fold that over. And that is going to sit just shy of this fold line just here. Okay, because we do need this to be able to fold in. So just in there. That goes there. We do the same with the other end. And fold it in and there we go there is 
our, our card. And as you can see, it sits beautifully. You can either fold these back or you can um, open them up entirely up to you. But you can now see that mechanism there, which will allow us to put our flowers in. Now, to put the flowers in, it's quite simple. So I tend to start with the biggest ones first. Um, now, where am I? These have all attached themselves together. Okay, so this is one of my biggest ones. Now, because I didn't have any really heavy duty card, I've actually used several pieces of card. So I am going to need to tape those together um, once I get them to the right length. So I'm just going to go and grab my sticky tape if I can find it, because I think that's going to be the easiest way rather than using double sided tape all the time. Okay, so as you can see, I've got some sticky tape there. Now, I start with my biggest ones first. So I've got that one and I've got that one. And I'm going to, what you do is you, to make sure, now I want them as, as high up as I can with these bigger ones. You don't want to go past there and you don't want to go past here. But everything else is okay because it will stand nicely. So I'm pretty much going to use the, the whole length of this one. So because I'm using several strips of the, the acetate, I'm just going to bind those together. And then I will use some double-sided tape to actually pop it onto the back part. And I'll show you where I'm putting them in a moment. So this double-sided tape seems to have two layers on it. Okay, so... Um, scissors. I'm just going to use a little piece of double sided tape like that on the bottom of there. Take the, the top off and for this one I'm going to go right in at the back here. Okay so I'm going to have it around about there and you can press it down to, to straighten it and you can see that when I did it last night they started buckling over. These ones are not going to do that now. So I'm now going to put this one and I think I'm going to have that one pretty much central. So I'm going to have that one just there. So once again, that will be a full length. So I'll bind these together. If you've got stronger acetate, this is not, not the issue. Um, so I'll just then use another little piece of double-sided tape the red tape really is the best for this because it is much stronger than the this general and I'm going to pop that one just there once again you can push down now what I'm going to do now and I'm going to speed up the camera to do this so that I'm not keeping you all waiting is I'm actually going to finish decorating and these can go anywhere on any of these three okay so I'm going to keep decorating and putting my poinsettias in and uh, you can see how I'm going to do that. There we go. So as you can see, that did take a bit of time to put together. Um, uh, they've got some, some of the backing of the red tape in there. There we go. Um, but it's well worth it just to, you know, to spend the time to put it there. But make sure this one, I might need to just bring that over a little bit, but this one... It's getting fairly close to the side there, but I think that's lovely. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, what we now need to do, um, and I'm not 100% certain whether I'm going to go with this one or not, um, but I do need to put a, 
a Merry Christmas um, on there. So this was one I'd cut out for something else, but I don't think it stands out enough. I'm thinking that what I might do is cut out uh, a piece of white and put this on and then and that's I know what I'm talking about let me just bear with me I'm going to get another scrap piece of white and I'm going to color that for uh, my Merry Christmas greeting and then put a hinge on the front Okay, so there's my Merry Christmas that is going to go in the front there. Now to attach that, it is very, very simple. All you need is your scoreboard, which I'll grab. And this piece is just a scrap and it's nearly four inches. So what we need is we need a, let me think, I need one, two, so that's going to go I've just got to work this one out okay so we need to score at half an inch one inch two inches and two and a half inches and the piece needs to be three inches long so I'll just trim this down to size and with those score lines, what you do is you do a mountain fold, like so. You then do a valley fold, like so. You then, because there is a, there is a score line, a light score line there, but I didn't really need it. I'm going to get rid of that. Then you need to do another mountain fold there and then a valley fold at the other side so the mechanism you're looking at is like that okay because what we are then going to do is we're going to then put our merry christmas on there and we are going to attach that to the center of there so what we need to do is we need firstly to get some double-sided tape once again and just i'll pop it in the center there And then we need, actually I'll put the top back on for that for the time being. Because what we also need is we need either glue or double-sided tape there. So I'm going to use double-sided tape. There's our piece. It's three inches long. It's scored at half an inch, one inch, two inches and two and a half inches. And it's folded like so. Now what we need to do is we need to take the backing off of these uh, these two end ones. For some reason, this has got double backing on it. And if you know what red red tape is like, it's um, it's terrible. Okay, there's that one, and the other side as well. And you fold these in to meet at the centre. And what you then need to do is getting your card and you can see you've got your your center your center line there so you're, you're going like that and you line that up along the center the center of this piece you line up on that fold there okay so that when you push it when it pushes out it actually pushes out the whole of your sentiment so what you do then is you find your sentiment again and you put that on there so that when it comes out you can see it gives that sentiment some dimension as well so that's going to annoy me that one okay 
so as you can see there is some dimension in it but it will not be a problem we, we will still be able to do our belly band now a belly band I am doing with um, just a piece of a scrap that I found actually in here so be very careful that you don't make your belly bands too tight okay so what I am going to do is I'm going to get a little piece of white um, scrap paper which is always around and I am going to cut this down and extend this because my flowers are going to sit over that okay so that is um, grab my cutting board that is one and a half inches so I'm just going to cut a piece one and a half inches long it doesn't need to be that big so just a small piece to extend that belly band at the center so lay your card down and gently fold your belly band around okay it doesn't have to be tight it, it really and truly shouldn't be tight you need to be able to get this on and off quite easily now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some double-sided tape on here. Okay, so now I have a belly band that will slide beautifully over my card. I have a small section in the center that is white, um, but that is not going to be an issue um, because I'm now going to cover that with some flowers so there we have it we have our belly band there that will dry in a moment I'll leave that just there you can either present this card like so or you can if you don't want your belly band you can actually send this card as a six by six through the post like that and then um, you will have your sentiment piece on the back there. I'm uh, not sure, quite sure where I'll put that, but I will find it. Um, but I just wanted, because I had a, a lovely um, piece of paper with already a poinsettia on it, I'll just leave that to dry. So, yeah, um, I think it's beautiful. I really do. Um, it does take a little bit of time, this one. It's not difficult, but it does take some time. So, as you can see, when it's flat, that doesn't come over. When it's... Um, when it's up it does um yeah i guess i probably could put another flower on like that i might do before i take the do the photography but i'm really happy with it i i think it's um effective i love my poinsettias you could put some um some other things like birds in there you could put some other decoration around here um at this stage i haven't even given that any consideration but i might do that i might put some more gold um little bits down the side there uh, but that is the main card and that's what you really need to see um, obviously when you have a look at the uh, the card on the front if you see something different down here you'll know that I've done something a little bit different before I've finished it but that's uh, that's what it is thank you for watching today I know it's been a little bit longer than most but as you can see we've, we've actually accomplished quite a bit um, in the fact that uh, it's it's not an it is easy Oh, it's straightforward, should I say, but it is a little bit time consuming because all of these flowers are handmade and uh, they do take a little while to make. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That really does help me. It'll also give you a notification when I put um, um, tutorials up. At the moment, I'm trying to do two or three a week. Um, that's because I'm in between jobs at the moment. After that, I will probably go back to maybe one or two a week, depending on time. Um, if you're not a member of our Facebook play page, please go over there. I get a lot of my inspiration from um, our lovely members on there. They are an amazing uh, bunch of people. Um, and uh, we've got all levels of crafters there, from the beginners to the people who have been doing it for years and years and years. And they're a really lovely, friendly um supportive and uh, and great bunch of people so thanks for joining me i hope you've enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you soon thank you and goodbye